government has recommended, I do believe, eight meetings, which would actually be nine by the time you bring in the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the two ministers to start with, and that would be 48 witnesses. The NDP wants 25 meetings. They say they can do that within the time frame that the government is, or that the government side well, is looking for. Suggest that uh, uh, that the only thing that a committee has to do in life is to deal with a issue in the life of a parliament. Quite frankly, is wrong. Uh, but this is an issue that, quite frankly, time is of the essence. Uh, the last thing I would hate to see. It's almost like the old story. I don't want Rome to burn with narrow fiddles. Uh, the terrorism threat is real. And I don't want to overstate it, but we do need some action on this file. We need it very, very shortly and very, very quickly, but we have to do it right. And so that's why we need to get this committee meeting uh, on tack and en route and on schedule as, as soon as possible. But, of course, uh, I as chair don't dictate that. That is a question of, uh, of, of the committee to come to their decision at some point. But the uh, NDP are saying that they could schedule late night sittings, they could sh schedule weekend sittings, that they could fit in those 25 well, days quite of frankly, sittings. Uh, in order, by the time we keep on moving with this thing, we should be making, we should have decisions for Monday, right now and Tuesday. But we can't even make those decisions because we're sitting here, of course, uh, debating process rather than debating the content of the bill. So I'm hoping we get around to the point where we can debate the bill. But I certainly, and uh, I would imagine there would be no hesitation from any member, either government or opposition, to extra meetings. So, so Mr. what do you Cram, think of Mr. the filibuster? Cram, are you then? saying that you, that if you can keep looking at the TV cameras while you answer the question, but are you saying that a few extra weeks of uh, hearings is just is not feasible? Is that how urgent no, the situation is? What I am, what, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying uh, there were a number of uh, the government was suggesting they thought their bill could be done in, in, in three weeks originally, uh, and, the, and the opposition have wanted more, and so the government has uh, went substantially along the way. And the old story, there's a, there's a difference between, as many of you would realize, you can have testimony at committee that's new, that's. Uh, intuitive that certainly is valuable and then you can also have repetition and repetition and repetition we need to work on this we don't need ten witnesses saying the same things we want credible witnesses and that's why i think the opposition and the government will bring in very very credible witnesses to buttress their arguments what, what happened to the request for the zhaf bebo tape is that going to be shown or for which the uh, tape the zhaf so separate issue i have not heard back from uh, the rcmp on that issue you okay. said you'd like to get the committee down to business, start to hear witnesses, and but you're stuck in procedure. Is that frustrating? That you're it's extremely frustrating. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a Canadian just like every person here, and uh, and I honestly believe that, well, of course, we didn't just go through the events of the 22nd, but we see it around the world. We see it on a consistent basis, and this is a serious threat that we need some action now on. So that's why I'm determined as best as possible to try to advance the, the roles of the committee. Uh, to see that we can deal with, with legislation rather than process. I tend to be a little bit frustrated when we get caught up in process, but that, of course, is Parliament, but too. It's very frustrating if you're listening to this because the government says that everything in here is going to help the situation. The opposition says it's, there's already the tools available. And wouldn't it be wonderful, as the Parliamentary Secretary said, this is not the time or place to debate the issue. This is a time to settle the process so we can debate the issue. So what we want to do today is hopefully is settle it so we can move forward and get the committee hearing start and then the actual testimony and debate can take place. And then of course from that of course there will be a resolve that will be reached at some point that hopefully will be beneficial to all Canadians. So this has to be done by consensus or will there be a vote that forces the issue? Uh, in the perfect world, consensus. And a vote. You can oppose a vote today? Uh, a, a vote uh, at the right time, yes, a vote could occur, but quite frankly, I'm looking forward to uh, trying to find a way to move forward in an amenable fashion. This is Parliament. Even though we can have our differences and our difference of opinion, we're all Canadians, so I'm trying to find a mutual resolve so, here. All the, indications, all the indications are that they're gearing up right now as we speak for a filibuster. Well, if a filibuster happens, I've been involved in them before. Uh, I don't like them. I find them a complete waste. Uh, but it is our process, and it is democracy. Sometimes democracy is a little messy, and I certainly don't like it, but it's a reality. Mr. I'm back to, I'm sorry, but I have to be prepared for the meeting, folks. Thanks very okay. much.